Welcome back again. Let us continue the work with our slide. Right now the photograph doesn't look as cohesively with the title as we have here the colors, but we will try to adjust it a little bit later. We also wanted to use icons onto this slide. So let's try and do this. I have three big icons. Firstly, I will make them rather small, because I just want them to indicate some information into our slide. Ok, let's put this as the first one, this is the second and this is the third. They are still too big. I am holding the shift key, selecting everything, making it a bit smaller. Alright, this might work. Perhaps in terms of the balance I will use the same icons for some background into this slide. Let's go to shapes and once again use the parallelogram. It's hard to pronounce for me and I hope I got it a bit right. Ok, the shape fill should be similar as those colors. So at first I will remove the outline. Then I will go to the format shape. Once again format shape and use the gradient fill. Sadly now we have the gradient we were using before. So let's create a new one, delete one color, use the eyedropper for the green one and the eyedropper for the blue color. Of course we need to change it to linear and I want it to go from left to right just as the green color here. So let us use this one, ok. And of course as we learned also previously, send backward and send completely to back. I'll come a bit closer, make it a bit smaller, a bit more narrow. Alright, it's looking pretty decent and I will work with the transparency. Let me see how this all looks. Right now I'm working with the transparency on the blue color. I also want to work with the transparency on the green one. Ok, this would be nice. I want more of the blue, so less transparency here and a bit of transparency at the green. I think I will stick to that right now. Ctrl C, Ctrl V two times to also make backgrounds for those icons. Select both, drawing tools, backward, backward, backward until they are in the back and we have some nice design prepared. What we should do, I would like to make those icons stand out more and PowerPoint has a tool for that which is in the format tab which is color. We can work with the coloristic of these icons, but only to a certain amount. For example, we have something light here. I think this would be nice, but it doesn't make quite those icons stand out. So what else can we do? We can, for example, go to the glow options. Let me close down everything. On the effects panel, we have the glow options. Let's maybe make a white glow around them. This glow is right now too intensive, but it makes those icons visible. I will make less amount of the glow, maybe 5 points and make it transparent. Just so the icons are visible. That's ok now. And what else can I do to make this design a bit more consistent with this photograph? Because right now it shoots out of the blue and has nothing in common with those colors. First I want to make it a little bit bigger. I go to crop once again, I make it a bit bigger. Oh, a little mistake, because the entire photo ends here, so I can just grab the photo and shift it around. Maybe also I don't want those yellow colors, because they really don't go along with this. Maybe this washed out color will be a bit better. I enlarge the photo, because it's a pretty heavy and big one. I think this position would be ok. What I also do, I take this design, Ctrl C, Ctrl V two times, and let's get creative and maybe position it here and here just to see how everything looks now. Let's maybe make something like that, narrow it a bit. Right now I don't have the angles right, so I need to work on that. This will take me a little bit of time, but stay patient. Ok, this one, I'll delete the previous one. I just take this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V and I turn it around. Even the colors can be turned. I do not mind, I went too far and ok. Of course this is wrong now, I selected the wrong one, enlarge the photo a bit, 
let me hit Shift F5 to preview the current slide. I think this is going in the right direction. Well, it isn't perfect, the color choice is terrible here, the green doesn't really go with a professional business look, but I want to show you the principles of slide design. Let's for example also make some small text here, I'll make it smaller, delete a little bit, make it smaller, just to fill out the composition and try to make some theme out of this. Right now it's a bit difficult, but I think Ctrl C, Ctrl V a few times, maybe working with the positioning. I like how this is all cut down, so I'll take the first icon and with the arrow keys I'll move them here. Now I take this, I'll move it here, well, it's okay, I'll work with the last text and alright. I believe we are done with this slide. Although the photograph doesn't perfectly fit in here into this green-blue composition, I believe that such slides are really more pleasant to the eye and more fun to view than the simple PowerPoint designs we see over and over again. I really can't watch them anymore, people are using them in every presentation and it doesn't look good. Try to create something on your own. I hope this little slide taught you a real world design where you were sitting down, making a slide and using all the informations I shared with you previously in this course. Tell me what you think about it. Until then, see you in the next lecture.